Hello, my name is Jacob Yazel, and I am a fourth year biological sciences major and chemistry minor. I am currently a member of Dr. Lane's lab, and today I will be discussing spectral sensitivity underlying escape responses in Uka pugilator. I myself have gotten the same question. The answer is, all sensory modes can be key mediators of animal behavior and thus help explain how and why animals behave the way they do. And also, sensory systems can act as prime drivers of adaption and evolution and thus help explain how different life forms, including humans, came to be the way we currently find them. Vision, the preeminent sensory mode of humans and many other animals, play an integral role in the survival and re reproduction of many organisms. Vision is used to acquire light-based information about the external world and many species have evolved the ability to visually distinguish different wavelengths of light. That is, they have color vision. That is a powerful perceptual tool for distinguishing objects and backgrounds. It is essentially work by having multiple visual pigments, each in a different cell and sensitive to different wavelengths, then comparing the light-induced activity in those cells. To discriminate wavelengths of light, an organism needs two or more visual pigments, composed of opsin and chromophore, that are maximally sensitive to different wavelengths in these must be active in different populations of light sensitive cells. If an organism has two such photoreceptor types, it is said to be dichromatic. If it has three, it is trichromatic. Increasing the number of different photoreceptor types generally improves color discrimination. In previous studies, it has been found that the fiddler crab, Uca pugilator, has three genes encoding different versions of the opsin protein and these proteins are uniquely expressed in different photoreceptor cells. This means they have the genetic and molecular machinery necessary for trichromatic color vision even though all crabs were thought to be dichromatic. The big question at hand in Dr. Lilling's lab is, does Uca pugilator have trichromatic color vision? Based on the previous studies, two of the three options are predicted to be mi middle wavelength sensitive, while the third is ultraviolet sensitive. While we have previ previous evidence on their physiology and genetics, that is not enough evidence to conclude that Uca pugilator is trichromatic. Behavioral tests are needed to confirm color discrimination. Federal crabs are a good model to study color vision because they display many of the behavioral functions inc involving color perception. A good example of this is the use of ultraviolet light in mate choice. Uca pugilator have apposition compound eyes with 360 degree panoramic visual view. Each eye is composed of many omatidia with each omatidium containing eight photoreceptor cells. The eighth is stacked on top. This is a graph indicating the sensitivity of Uca pugilator to different wavelengths of light. My goal in this study is to evaluate if Uca pugilator can distinguish between 360 nanometers and 519 nanometers, indicated by the red arrows. This was done by presenting an unconditioned visual stimulus composed of these two wavelengths to elicit an escape response. Such a response indicated that the crab was capable of seeing the scary stimulus based either on the apparent intensity difference between the 360 nanometer portion and the 519 nanometer portion, or based on the difference in wavelength. The goal was to try to find a ratio of, of these two uh, wavelengths intensities that abolished the response, in which case the crab could not tell the difference either by intensity or wavelength, and thus could be concluded to possess color vision. To elicit the escape response from crabs, we created an apparatus to present a looming disc. We created a 6x6 array of LEDs of 519 nanometers and 316 nanometers connected in a circuit. Polarizers were oriented 45 degrees from each other and placed over the respective LED as shown on the right with arrows. The LED light was then projected onto an LCD that transmitted either 316 nanometers or 519 nanometers of light to form the disc or its background. The screen displayed the looming disc that grows exponentially and is an effective pred predation mimic. Here is a more 3D model of the apparatus and a presentation of the looming disc. The crabs were then tested. 
This was done by placing a crab in a small grass or class arena and wait for them to acclimate. We then play a video of the Lumi disc. If there is no response, we replay the video again. Positive responses included rapidly running away, a small scuttle, or flinching or of appendages, or freezing up when actively moving. While the video is playing, video of the crab's behavior is captured using a camcorder for a second reviewer. What I found was that as the intensity ratio was lowered, the response rate lessened. These results show that Uka pugilator can distinguish between ultraviolet and green wavelengths. Altering the intensity did not affect their perception, indicating they can distinguish between the two colors at any given brightness difference tested. These results are a continuation of an ongoing project. Testing these escape responses will be continued.